Okay, you've got a piece just going up online. Chauncey Billups, who had been in that mix to succeed David Griffin, of course, is not is out of the picture. Shedding some light on what he knew at the time and what motivated him to say no. Yeah, he said that it wasn't the fear of LeBron leaving. It was the fear of when LeBron leaves, or if LeBron leaves, um, what is left in the cupboard to rebuild the team. He was fine with rebuilding the team if LeBron left, but he was concerned about that. The irony here is if Kyrie Irving uh, were, to be, were to be traded and the Cavs sort of restock their cupboard of assets, that it would maybe be a more attractive job to Chauncey Billups. Now, Chauncey also said in this interview uh, with a radio station in Denver today that um, he knew that Kyrie was upset, that while the Cavs were doing due diligence on him, he was doing due diligence on the Cavs and had vetted out that Kyrie was frustrated and wasn't so sure he wanted to stay with the franchise. But I don't believe that Chauncey knew that Kyrie wanted to be traded. If so, maybe the trade would have triggered yeah. the rebuild that Chauncey was looking to do.